Charterman, Charterman, Brian. Charterman, 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 Brian. Greedy comics, toys are hella sick. Hell whacking it. Take a bad hit. Take a bad hit. And that came off on me too. Damn it. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Kotobukiya statue review on the DC Comics Fox TV series Gotham's Oswald Cobblepot Artifacts Plus statue. I gotta give a big thanks to Kotobukiya for sponsoring this YouTube channel and sending out the statue over here to review for you guys. If you want to see the latest from Kotobukiya, be sure to check the links in the description below. And we get a nice window packaging. I like how we have Gotham in the background. You can see Oswald Cobblepot right there. And it says Gotham before the legend. And then on the back, you can see some products shots and we get some interchangeable parts I like that and then on this side you can see some more Gotham then we get a window at the top right over there and then not much more at the bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing open and here's the penguin statue out of the packaging or the Oswald Cobblepot statue I think this is a solid piece again I think Kotobukiya did a great job on the suit over here I talked about that with the Jim Gordon statue and I really like the head sculpt a lot on this piece I think that looks awesome so let's get a closer look at that and then we'll get a closer look at the rest of the statue including the interchangeable parts. So here's looking at the head sculpt and that's just a face only a mother could love right or a little bit too much. I think they did a great job. I think this really looks like Robin Taylor playing the penguin. I think they did a great job on this face sculpt and he does wear some prosthetics. I think he has something on his nose and his chin and you know I just think they really captured the likeness over here. He has that angled forehead and everything. The hair sculpt looks really good. And I like how they have that pink on his face. You know, there's always looking like he's got a eczema or something like that. Go fix your eczema, penguin. But yeah, I think that looks really good. A uh, little gripe over here is I did scuff his face just a little bit from removing the umbrella. And it's a nice looking umbrella over here. So can't look, you know, can't really complain about it aside from me scuffing his face. It was just this part right here that nicked just that part right there as I was lifting this up. So you want to be careful with that. You could swap this out with a shotgun. And I think it's a good looking shotgun. I really like the paint on it. That looks really nice. I just think it's on the small side. I'm not really a gun guy, but uh, my grandfather used to hunt and he had a whole uh, ton of shotguns. And yeah, I, I think they're supposed to be bigger, you know, pump action right over there. So yeah, again, I don't know too much about guns, but I feel like this should be a little bit bigger. But I could be totally wrong about that. But anyway, looking at the rest of the statue, I think this looks great. I really like how the tire looks on this guy. Nice clean paint apps everywhere. Get some gun metal for those buttons. Looking really good. Again, I like how the wrinkles came out on this. Very natural gravity, you know. Uh, that's the thing I talked about with the other one is that Kotobukiya just has this way of, you know, really making the clothes look like they're falling in a natural way. Really well done. And then he's got the fancy shoes right over there. It's pretty sweet. And he has the magnets under his feet as well. There's a cobble butt and then the cobble back. And then he comes with the magnetic base that we've seen with all the artifacts statues. Looking pretty good. Gotham before the legend. And on the back, it's all selfie at the bottom. Oh, I love this whole thing. Now to measure out this statue, you can see that Penguin is standing just a little over seven inches tall. And then for your Kotobukiya Gotham TV series statue comparison, we have the Penguin or Oswald Cobblepot next to Jim Gordon. And you can see that Gordon is standing taller than Penguin, as he should, right? Ben Kinsley is taller than Robin Taylor, if I can remember correctly, right? Right? And then for your DC Comics Villains TV series Kotobukiya statue comparison, we have the Penguin next to Reverse Flash, and I have the lights lit up right over here on his face. That looks really cool. Still really like that effect. And then for your Gotham TV series Oswald Cobblepot comparison, we have the Oswald Cobblepot from the Kotobukiya statue line, and then we have the Oswald Cobblepot from the Diamond Select Toys line. And one thing I didn't mention earlier that I really like about this statue is that his right foot is just, you know, tilted outward like that, as it is in the show, you know what I mean? He has a problem with his right leg. So I thought that was great that they did that because whenever I have this figure I always pose him with his leg all you know crooked like that So I thought that was a cool little detail. Also, you don't need the magnetic base. He'll stand just fine without it Oh, wait, wait, wait hold on. You, you do want to be careful though I recommend using the base just use the base and then here's the Oswald Cobblepot statue next to the Marvel Legends big time let down spider-man Penguin? You're no penguin. Penguins are supposed to be short and round and stocky and all <laughs> 
So I'd like to thank you guys once again for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. And thanks again for Kotobukiya for making this review happen. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this review. Let me know what you think of the statue. And subscribe as well as hit that notification bell. I like this piece. I don't really have any serious complaints about it. I thought the shotgun was maybe a little too small. But aside from that, I really do like it. I'll probably have them on display with the umbrella. I don't know. I just like having my penguin with the umbrella. So I'll probably use that instead but overall I really do like this piece and I give it a sud rating of it's not so bad and again I want to know what you think so please go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section down below if you'd like to see a photo gallery of images it'll be over at toynewsi.com and don't forget to follow me on the Facebook Twitter and Instagram links to everything in the description below I'll catch you guys later today peace Hey, I'm sure I Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.